Hi everybody So in this video I'm going to review the Dixie DYSY Pandai-pandai je panggil Dixie DYSY Dixie good Whatever DYSY BC Cream I am using the shade Natural So this is how the packaging looks like Okay nak buka ni Dia tak boleh buka macam ni 3 tahun duduk pikir macam mana nak buka ni Rupanya you have to twist the cap Macam ni And then baru buka Okay nak tutup pun sama Okay so very secure So you get a mirror a sponge okay and then there's a separator once you flip this up you get the product lah so kita dah biasa dengar BB cream CC cream DD cream EE cream FF cream XYZ cream apa benda pula dah BC cream ni so basically BC cream tu ada combination between BB cream and concealer let me read uh, some of the claim revolusi baru solehkan dari Korea yang menggabungkan BB cream dan concealer cream diformulasikan dengan mineral dan extra everything yang dapat memberikan kesan warna tone yang sekata sekaligus memandu merawal gulir wajah hmm. so ada SPF 50 kesan 3D katanya tak perlu filter meratakan tonal warna kulit tekstur sekata dan mudah beresap anti minyak tahan lama tekstur ringan dan sesuai untuk semua jenis kulit so they have only two shades beige and natural I obviously pick up the darker shade which is natural so beige is way too light beige tu macam ashali punya kulit so I went with natural. Natural pun sebenarnya is quite light on my skin tone. Before we jump into the review, macam biasa lah, I'm going to show you how it uh, applies on my face. So they recommend for you to apply using their brush. Dia macam ada a dense, kebuki dense brush. I do not buy that because I know I have like 3,739 brushes terlantak dekat rumah ni. So I just use my brush. I'm using a round top kebuki brush. So I recommend for you to use brush. As you can see, it has a very nice coverage. I don't have to layer on too much uh, to cover up all of my any scars. I just use one layer and it is quite high coverage, I would say. Dia macam medium to full coverage. Kalau you guys put on macam tebal sikit, of course, it's going to have a full coverage finish. But if you use a light-handed application, you will have lesser coverage than that. So, okay, the pros of this DC cream, as mentioned, it has very nice coverage. Easy to apply. Very easy to apply. Usually, kalau dengan cream ni, I am very skeptical because sometimes cream foundation ni tends to go a little bit dry. Susah nak blend. But with this one, it goes on very smooth, easy to apply, easy to blend. It doesn't tuck your face, it doesn't cling to your dry patches. Kalau you guys have a uh, moisturized your face properly, I wouldn't recommend using a sponge with this cream because I think you can get most of the pigmentation um, with a brush. Dia macam balance tau. Dia macam tak too dry sangat, tapi tak too creamy sangat. It is creamy, tapi not to the point sampai dia masih slippery. So, it sits on the face very nicely. But, um, of course, I have to set my face. Nak pergi mana 7-Eleven je pun nak kena press kan botol laju sampai lagu dulu. <sighs> dia punya texture tu macam balance. Dia macam cream, creamy, tapi it is not too slippery. So, it sits nicely on your face. It has nice blendability. It looks nice on the skin. It doesn't uh, cling to dry patches like any other cream would do. Sometimes, many uh, cream foundation tends to do that. Tends to clean on your dry patches on the side of your nose. But this cream doesn't do that. It looks so nice on the skin, to be honest. Dia punya finishing pun, very nice. It is not too glowy. It is not too matte. Macam, just nice. Okay, okay. Kasih China dalam mahu aku tak buat. <laughs> Mampu menutup segala celah dan jeragat. True to that. As I mentioned, I just use one layer all over my face. I don't have to build the coverage up. Tapi tak dinafikan, agak gonyoh lah juga. Untuk dapatkan one swipe tu pun. Bukannya one swipe yang macam eh. <laughs> ah, Masa tu, maybe I will not get as full coverage as I have on my face right now. So, macam woi, macam tu. Ah, tu yang nampak full coverage tu. Texture ringan, yes, it feels light on your face. Tak ada feel macam very heavy. There is one thing that I feel amazed about this BC cream. Dia rasa macam tipis je bila you put on. Walaupun you dah macam woi, macam tu. It feels tipis. Sampai rasa betul ke? Cukup ke banyak ni? Ah, sebenarnya cukup. Banyak tu rasa ringan setipis tu pun dah cukup. Okay, sampai di situ saja. Let's move on to the cons. <laughs> the very obvious cons of this BC cream is that it comes with only two shades. If you have um, deeper skin tone than mine, I don't think this will work on you. Probably, if you saw the demo just now, it looks so white on my face. Tapi, I have um, balanced it out by using a powder and bronzer so I can make it work somehow. <coughs> tak mau beli! 
Oh, yang paling penting ya, how this foundation press on my oily skin. Itulah the biggest cons of this foundation. This BC cream, in my opinion. If you don't already know, I have a very oily skin. Uh, even though, even though I have dry patches on my face, I uh, I get oily throughout the day. So with this foundation, for the first three to four hours, memang look so nice on your face. Nice lah. I don't understand. Tapi lepas daripada tu, it looks horrible. <laughs> it looks cakey on my face. Kalau memang kalau biak aja the cakiness tu tak tercap, dia memang lagi lagi teruk lah the cakiness. And also after few hours, after three four, lepas tiga empat jam tu, uh, the cream starts to melt. Okay, macam buat kelak butter daripada petak air, potong sekeping, lepas tu bubur dalam pan uh, dengan tu api sederhana Lepas tu dia start to melt sepan-pelan kan, uh, macam tu lah how it looks like Dia macam melts lah on the face, dia dah lama gila aku tak pakai foundation yang melts on my face Even though I have already set it with powder, dia still lagi tak dapat menahan foundation tu daripada berlalu pergi and it looks, as I mentioned, it looks cakey around the side of my nose which always happen, tapi this one so unforgivable <laughs> tapi tak apa, kita jangan panik sangat kita boleh touch up, tapi masalahnya ada setengah foundation yang bila kita touch up, it looks fresh balik tau macam macam, macam kita baru apply ataupun kalau ada ataupun, ataupun ada setengah foundation, bila kita touch up, kita tak dapat nak revive dia balik tapi still lah bearable untuk few hours untuk sejam dua lagi kan Tak nak beli rumah tu kan Tapi this foundation Dia macam Tak boleh diselamatkan Bila I try to fix it Bila I try to touch up Foundation tu nampak lagi keki Dia macam hilang Dia macam Dia tak mau Dia macam tak mau Blend balik masuk dalam kulit The only way to save your makeup Is by removing it And reapply it All over again Okay So this is not Long wearing on my oily skin Personally This is not long wearing at all And then it looks so cakey to the point that it cannot be fixed Tak boleh nak touch up pun Which is quite a bummer because it looks so nice Dalam 2-3 jam pertama tu Tapi this one is perfect for a quick fix Ataupun a quick application Contohnya kalau you guys nak pakai peraja Pagi awal pagi lepas tu tengah hari Dah nak kena remove your makeup pasal nak semayang This will be perfect because it can last that long Lepas tu tak adalah rasa macam sayang sangat nak buang Pasal memang kena buang And kalau tak buang pun dia memang nampak teruk lepas tu so, is that a good thing? I don't know. But I definitely use it for that purpose. Memang pakai nak pergi kerja. Memang I use it bila nak pergi kerja. Lepas tu, by tengah hari tu, dah remove it. And kalau raja, reply balik lah. Kata rajin. Dah dibalik lah muka macam keluar mengkang. So, and yeah. It's perfect for that. Because you just have to bring this one and also a brush. Kalau you guys macam nak cepat on the go. As you can see, this come in this uh, compact uh, packaging. So, it is very handy. For you to bring with you Campak masuk dalam handbag je ke And you guys Macam tak nak Go through the hassle Of you know Bawa makeup banyak-banyak You guys not just a simple application Simple base I recommend this one Tapi as I mentioned This is um, Not a long wearing Cream Faham tak? Faham tak apa yang cuba disampaikan sini? Kalau you guys tak kisah Nak pakai ni 3-4 jam je Okay go for it Tapi Kita boleh expect lah Pakai foundation ni P Kenuri ke daripada pagi sampai malam ada event And expect this uh, BC cream to last That long, okay I think this is perfect for uh, Those yang ada normal skin Normal skin type Oh by the way, this retails for RM85 So yeah. Of course Ada banyak lagi foundation yang Performs way better than this one With cheaper price, tapi Since this one macam sangat handy kan Macam sangat macam compact, senang nak apply Senang nak pakai so, uh, you guys decide. Terserah anda. But for me personally, since this is light on my skin tone, I have to put on bronzer lah. I have to put on colored powder lah. So, macam tak ada lah rasa macam sangat convenient, sangat nak guna this one. Bukannya boleh pakai ni je dah, dah keluar. Faham tak? So, macam might as well guna je foundation. Macam regular foundation. I will definitely guna berhabis because it looks good. For the first few hours, so I don't mind taking it off because memang kena take it off pun after few hours. But of course, I will not be using this to go out sampai ke malam ke ataupun for any events ke. So that's that. I'm sure ada banyak lagi review out there so you guys can, you know, do your own research. Don't depend solely on my review because we definitely have different skin even if you have oily skin. I don't think that kita punya level tu sama Maybe the cream will not break on you Maybe it will sit 
throughout the day but that is just not the case for me <sighs> apalagi masanya tu saja mm. alright i think that's it thank you guys for watching i see you guys in my next video bye